Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you all. You know, um, throughout lockdown, we all had some troubling times, didn't we? Um, what did you do to occupy yourself? I had done paintings, I was designing magic, um, keeping my mind, you know, occupied. I also wrote a little book. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long while, actually. It goes along the lines of self-help, life, what's going on so far, that kind of thing. When I was 17 years old, I used to love collecting self-help books, stuff that would manage your mind. I love the idea of somebody older than me had got to a certain part of their life where they wanted to document something and offer it out there as help to people who might be going through something that they've just about, what well, they've just gone through or something. And I had those ideas in my head about doing that myself when I got older. And here I am, <laughs> here, here I am with those ideas that I thought I would like to document. The thing I didn't like about those books is they were, they were like this. They were like massive, great thick manuals. And I felt that sometimes I didn't always have time to sit and read them. So I thought if ever I make one, I want to make it unique, get rid of what I thought might be gumph in there and just give that that the, the problem and the solution that I, I tried. I've uh, got a couple of paragraphs I'm going to read out to you if that's all right. And uh, let me know what you think. <coughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> I'd like to think as well as a good talker, I'm a good listener. My friends, my family, even clients would pick up on the way we can listen to each other's problems. The help and advice I thought valuable from others for my problems and the advice I'd return them for theirs, I would put into quotes and then I'd write them down in a notepad that I'd always carry with me and I still do. I would refine these quotes over the years and make them more easily understood. And as you flick through these pages, you'll find quotes that hit home and others that don't mean too much to you at the moment. And that's because different moments in life are being affected by different things. You may be going through a bitter separation or indeed a promising new relationship. You may have just given birth or maybe you've just been made redundant. Can you see there's massive highs, massive lows in life. And no matter who or what has knocked us over, we simply have to find our way to get up, dust ourselves down, learn from it and have another go. What's unique about the pages in this book is that you don't necessarily have to start at the beginning. You can open the book at any page. And as long as you start from a bold print header, you can just start to read a few paragraphs, which at most are just a few hundred words long to the end of a single page. After you can close the book and later that day, open it at another random page. And as long as you start from another bold print header, you are onto another chapter. You observant ones will notice that the pages aren't even numbered. This is because I believe there is no beginning and there is no end to the knowledge in the pages because it's always current. This book contains short, inspirational and thought provoking essays from my real life experiences with gentle yet powerful solutions and tools that I've learned to use, which will help you understand what your next step could be. This isn't a book about me. This is a book about us. Like life so far, what's going on? What would I call it? Enjoy what you do. Because that's what it's about, isn't it really? Enjoying what you do, whatever it is. Why would you do stuff that you don't want to do? And if you have to do it, then make it a short time you're doing it for and enjoy the rest of the stuff that you do. <laughs> Look, pretty. <laughs> It's available now from my website, magicfoxproducts.com. I want to thank all of you for your continued support at whatever I seem to do. Thank you. And mainly, enjoy what you do.